I'm Bob Cuther. I'm the principal at Marshfield High School. How did I get into education? Well, I began my career in the Quincy Public Schools um, right prior to the early to mid 80s. Um, I graduated from college and uh, actually moved to Massachusetts to be a pre-law student, was gonna go to Harvard Law, that was my plan. And got here, got involved with youth on a bike trip uh, to Maine. A group of kids uh, asked me to chaperone a bike trip and I went to Maine. Um, had an amazing time with these young men and women and got done, came back and said, yeah, I really need to work with kids. Come from a family of educators. My mom was a, 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 an educator and so I uh, decided to go into education at that point in time. Started uh, teaching in the Qu uh, Quincy Public Schools. Superintendent of Schools asked me to uh, look at starting an alternative high school for at-risk kids and so began that in the Quincy Public Schools. It was called the Goals Program and transitioned from that to becoming uh, principal at Quincy High School. There's a multitude of coaching and teaching opportunities that, that, that were part of my career in there. And then I uh, was principal at Quincy High for seven years and then I came here and this is my 18th year at, at Marshfield High School. I live in Marshfield, moved to Marshfield in uh, 1991, bought a house here in Marshfield and have been a Ram ever since. So uh, when I started in the Quincy Public Schools, um, my supervising teacher was a, a social studies teacher by the name of Jack Scanlon. I started to work with him in class and uh, he be, eventually became my best friend, lived, lived here in Marshfield. Um, he and I uh, partnered together in leadership for many years. He and I uh, have deep friendship, probably one of my best friends that I've, that I've been involved with. And, uh, um, we did a lot of significant things with kids, and uh, he was the person that I would bounce things off of. Um, and uh, so we were very, very, very close. And uh, he passed away um, six, seven years ago now. And uh, even, even in his passing, it's one of those, one of those uh, growth moments for me as, as a professional and as a human. So Jack really taught me how to be human, and uh, so he's an important person, obviously. It's a little emotional for me, but he's, you know, he was my best friend. He's in a better place today, I can tell you that. So I do know that, so uh, we just count on that, so. I would say that the one constant that, that I, I always think is the constant is the relationship between the teacher and the student and the importance of it. So when I started in 88, um, the, the better my students knew me, the more that they knew that I cared about them and, and that they could trust me, the better the learning was in the classroom. That happened in 88, that happens today in 2020. Um, the more my students get to know me, the fact that I, I hope my students know that I care, care for them a great deal and that they can trust me, the better off our relationship is, which, which opens the door for learning. So um, learning's an interesting piece. So there's a lot more tools and a lot more uh, bright lights and glitz. And at the same time, um, you know, we've learned a lot about human development and all of those things that are significant. But when it comes right down to it, it's really about that relationship. So that's the constant that's been in play. What do I do for fun? Well, you know, it's funny how age changes you a little bit. So my things that I do for fun um, are different than, than before. I walk um, daily. I try to do 15,000 steps if I can. Um, and so I walk and it's my really my quiet time and my time to sort of just uh, figure out what's ahead in the day to help work through difficult choices or big choices. So I walk for fun. Um, I have a, an amazing family. Um, so I love spending time with my kids and my wife. Um, we've been married 33 years. It's been an amazing 33 years. We have a ton of fun together. Um, so we do that. I, I do that for fun. Love to fish, you know, so um, I love to throw a, a pole in the water and to ca catch a fish. Uh, that, that, that's fun for me. I enjoy my job. Like my job's the greatest job in the country. I, I get to spend, you know, 180 days with kids. And, you know, and so my, my job is fun. So, uh, you know, I enjoy each day when I come to work. So it's a good thing. We have a great place. We've done a lot for kids in the town of Marshfield. And I think that that's, that, that always needs to be our purpose and our, and our focus. I always say the, the best day that this town celebrates is graduation day every year. 
town invests in their kids for 13 years. We come together in a lot of different ways and a lot of different places. And then, uh, you know, on James G. Anderson Field, every year, a group walks across the platform and it's the single most important moment in the town of Marshfield. It's not town meeting, it's not when the selectmen get inaugurated or any, it's none of those days, right? It's graduation day because we all have a part in it. So the person at Hubbard's Cupboard's part of that, right? The person that's at Speedway's part of that. Haddad's is part of that, right? Um, Furnacebrook is part of that. Our elementaries are part, everybody has a piece in what happens at graduation. So it's the single most important day in town. Let's never forget that. Let's always celebrate that. Let's never put anything on top of that day. And let's just realize the importance that, that graduation is for. And then thank you for our town for investing in our kids. Go Rams!